ለመማር ወደ ትምህርት ተቋም መሄድ ግድ አይደለም ናሽናል አቪሽን ኮሌጅ ራሳችሁን ከኮሮና ቫይረስ ወረርሽኝ የጠበቃችሁ በቤታችሁ ወይም በተመቻችሁ ቦታ በኢንተርኔት አማካኝነት በኦንላይን ትምህርታችሁ መከታተል ትችላላችሁ ካናዳ ከሚገኘው ኢንተርናሽናል ኤር ትራንስፖርት አሶሲዬሽን አያታና ከእንግሊዙ ኢኒሲቲዩት ኦፍ ኮመርሻል ማኔጅመንት አይሲኤም ጋር በመተባበር የሚሰጡ ትምህርቶችን ተከታተላችሁ በስድስት ወር ጊዜ በአለም አቀፍ ደረጃ ተቀባይነት ያለውን የስልጣና ማስረጃ ባለቤት መሆን ይቻላል ልምድ ባላችሁ መምህራን እየተማራ ጥያቄና መልስ የክፍል ስራዎች ፈተና መፈተን ክፍል ውስጥ እንዳላችሁት አይነት በኦንላይን ባላችሁበት ቦታ ከናሽናል አቪሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እህት ኩባንያ የጃሪው ክላስ ቻፕተር 6 ዴታ ፕሮሲሲንግ እና አናሊሲስ የሚል ራስ ነው በዋናነት mainly will focus on how to process uh, data using uh, either spaces or stata and then how to undertake analysis that was the main focus of this chapter uh, basically uh, the the lecture is just plan to highlight mainly related to these uh, issues first part is it will particularly <clears throat> lead to uh, provide discussions on uh, data processing and then management that was the first part then subsequently uh, we will also going to discuss certain issues related to uh, and then the last part will also be uh, uh, also be uh, touching the discussions on analysis part then to this end the second part of these uh, discussions entirely devote for uh, providing illustrations on techniques of the data analysis and then this part i will highlight certain uh, specific techniques starting from simple discrete statistics to inferential statistical methods then uh, as usual i will also give you some uh, maybe exercises just to initiate you to read more on this chapter then, then uh, first part uh, this uh, first part of the uh, first part of uh, lecture on processing and analysis of data which is uh, how to undertake data processing management so far in the previous chapter as you already just noted we have been uh, discussing uh, uh, different aspects on research methodology first part is how to undertake research design that was duly explained in the previous chapter plus we also discuss how to collect data now this chapter after actually having the primary or secondary data and then the ultimate purpose of this chapter is just how to process those uh, collected data and to this end what are the main tasks of uh, processing data and then what is it also management management in research how to also just process the primary data the first part uh, when that researchers start processing data is also the first part that was the first part immediately uh, when when do you actually start to process your data be it primary or secondary data what are the consideration that you should make uh, in imposing data and management that was also the point that we're going to discuss on this part and then one thing that i, I have to actually uh, explain at the beginning this chapter actually uh, assumes as if you you have already just an understanding about uh, an exposure uh, about this software starter or a space software but that was actually uh, the intentions the problem is just to cover Uh, those aspect by including those sasika softwares and this class might be quite difficult for to credit our uh, class and because of that uh, based on the discussions that we had last time to the previous uh, maybe uh, batch as well uh, with the respective uh, maybe deans and the department heads we are actually uh, planning to provide 
a short-term training on uh, the software, separately. That will be uh, given uh, maybe first. Uh, Otherwise, understanding about this uh, uh, data processing management uh, will not be actually, uh, it, must, it must also be just complemented by the software. That was the point. And then with this remark, uh, let's the first party's uh, discussion primarily uh, what are the expected uh, on the part of researchers to undertake data processing and management? What are the activities that is just included? Basically, the data processing and management, uh, particularly in SPSS or uh, Stata, in any software, will start from uh, will start from. We'll start from variable definition. You have to actually properly define your variables to uh, the, the respective softwares. That was the first steps. And then subsequently, the second step is you also need to uh, insert data based on the definitions. You already just noted the definition for computer uh, or the computer we recognize uh, all command with syntax of number one or two. And then you have to actually first provide a corresponding definitions of your own word with computer by number. That was the first step. And we refer this one is data definition or variable definitions. You also need to define your variables into these softwares. Subsequently, you also need to edit before while you're actually defining you might make certain specific mistakes. And then while you also uh, uh, providing code, you might make certain mistakes. In this regard, you also need to uh, edit the data. That was also the case. Then subsequently, you will need to, you are just requiring to insert these raw data into these uh, softwares. And then the subsequent third parties, data entry and undertaking data analysis. That was the point. And then just to, uh, for your actually, uh, maybe, uh, for your actually uh, uh, quick memory, it might be better to, to have, to complement this with uh, the software's uh, training, but the problem is uh, the course itself is just uh, allocated with a block program. And then that, that was actually quite difficult. And then therefore, I will also just elaborate each of these uh, specific four data processing and management uh, patterns. Variable definition is just providing a specific code for the questionnaire while you just inputting these questionnaires uh, data into the computers. And then providing code might be made on spaces software this is uh, the most widely uh, applicable software on the part of social science field, and then primarily helps for, uh, for, for actually defining questionnaires and inserting raw data. And then uh, the Stata is also quite advanced statistical software that will help you to undertake a number of uh, analysis. Therefore, uh, the first part that you need to consider in this part, particularly in data processing and management part, it is the highest possible uh, data uh, need to be actually inserted. That was that must be actually assured. And then for this, you also need to, pro to provide proper data definitions. For instance, the variable, let's say the first question is sex. And the first one, one, you will assign for male, two, you will assign for female. And then make sure that while you just, while you actually inserting raw data on the computers, the number two represent female, the number one represent male. And a proper data definitions and then uh, proper data entry might need to be just assured. And then one thing you also need to uh, know uh, in this part, first, before actually defining the questionnaire, you also need to uh, identify the type of response format. The question is just 
how the question is just raised because each response has its own uh, data definition techniques. Like for instance, it might be open-ended, it might be closed-ended, it might be dichotomous, it might be multiple response, it might be scare response question. And then each of these uh, five specific question format has their own specific procedures for defining uh, this on uh, softwares. Therefore, you also first, the first step is just, you need to actually, the first steps for uh, ensuring proper uh, accuracy of data definitions in species or strata is first, particularly, you need to understand how the question is just raised. Based on our earlier discussions, we do have different types of questions. And then all of the questions might boil down to either of these specific question format, and then each question format has its own techniques for defining on these softwares. Therefore, the first steps in this variable definition is just you need to just identify the response format. Then subsequently, the software will also request you to, uh, to identify the scale. The scale characteristics is also be, need, to be, uh, need to be just distinguished for which we'll discuss in this class. And the scale characteristics and level of measurement of variables, that is technical issues. And then that must also be just properly understood by you. Then the second steps on data uh, processing and management is you also need to, once you just define uh, variables on these softwares, you need to also include data cleaning. That was particularly, you must, you must make sure that proper data with proper uh, variables is just uh, inserted on the computer. You also need to ensure the proper coding. And then you also need to provide proper description for uh, the response to the, these softwares. That was actually to mean labeling, labeling responses, just explaining, elaborating in detail what is already on the question, the questioners to these softwares is need to also be just assured. And then you also need to also check the data verifications. If the data is just properly uh, as per the definition is just inserted on this software is also need to be assured. That was also what we call this data editing. And then you also uh, need to uh, provide proper measurement scale. And then in fact, we have about different measurement scale. Therefore, while you actually editing the data, you also need to check whether the variables are properly, properly, uh, specifically properly, as per uh, proper measurement scales were, uh, were inserted or not, you, you have to also check those. These issues are uh, referred as data ID. And then if you actually fail to do so, the problem is it, it is not possible to undertake proper analysis. That was the case. And then uh, uh, The third step is data entry. Once if data editing is just completed, you also need to actually insert the collected data into the computer. And then these uh, relevant software spaces and data must also be just known by, by graduate student at this level. You, you have to actually properly understand how to use this uh, specific uh, software as well. And then, one thing you also need to note, the highest possible level of accuracy must be just maintained. Otherwise, as you know, the, the computer is just, the computer language which is, what is already just garbage in is garbage out. That means if you fail to properly insert proper data, and then what is already just, the output might, might not be actually relevant. And therefore, highest level of data accuracy must also be just and maintain while you actually digitizing the data into these softwares. And one way of just assuring this highest level of accuracy is what we call double entry. Double entry technique is just simply after inserting the, the code on this software, you have to actually cross, cross check and back your questioners, whether it is properly, uh, the inserted data is just as per it's the code. You have to actually check and Check, there is check and balance. 
In fact, the softwares have their own specific techniques for, for checking and for detecting uh, whether the data is just accurately uh, inserted as per the code, as per the code defined or not. There is a technique, but uh, Dublin 3 is just the case. Dublin 3 is just you need to, after inserting the data, so you, have, you have to uh, check once and then observe the code and then whether the code is properly the same it just inserted in the computer. That was said steps in data processing. And then, uh, whatever uh, the case, the, in addition to these double entry techniques for maintaining accuracy of data entry, you also need to uh, check certain common data problems. And then, be it advanced, uh, maybe experienced researcher, be it average researcher, and then all of most of them, they actually um, uh, face the following common problems. And then, in addition to this, in order to maintain highest accuracy of data uh, entry, you also need to check these specific issues. First one is code verifications. Even after completing the questionnaire, and then after just inserting all the data in the computer, you, you have to check and balance each specific question uh, items, each question, that was actually the case. In fact, code verifications could also be just carried out using uh, the software automatically. And then the software is actually detecting these specific issues. The, the software automatically will de de detect uh, if you actually insert a code, uh, certain non-defined code on your data, and then the computer automatically will actually uh, identify so that you will trim out from uh, the data entry uh, box. And then the out of range value is also the case. That was most common, particularly when you are just uh, inserting data, you need to give highest, uh, maybe, um, highest possible, uh, maybe, uh, uh, efficiency. And then in between, you might insert uh, maybe out of range data. An example for this out of range values, for instance, while setting the age of individual, let's say is 80, and then you simply just add one zero and then you will insert 800. Imagine it's not possible to insert, uh, to have an age of household of 800. That means because of simply adding uh, reluctantly the, 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 the code uh, or the, the code, the numbers, you might actually add one, one digit. That was also the case. In some of the case, missing data is most common problem, particularly this is most trivial in data analysis. Missing data or missing variables might be the case. That means in some of the case, the total questionnaires will not be responded to you. That is very good. You will replace it. But the problem is some of, some of the respondents, they just started and then in between they will jump. Some of the issues because of different reasons. Or some of the respond this kind of missing data might be actually quite common if you just uh, uh, if you actually assign somebody to collect data on behalf, and then the data might be collected. But the problem is it will have a number of missing variables. Missing variables might be quite common. For instance, if you actually drop the questionnaires in certain one specific manager uh, office, and then uh, the managers might simply just assign the his secretary or the messengers on behalf to feed the questioners and then and then some of the questions might be clear for her and then and some of some might, some of them might might be actually totally jumped and then this kind of problem would also be just detected and incorrect formatting is also another that was particularly common in in this uh, in this uh, data analysis. Incorrect formatting, that means simply, let's say for instance, uh, uh, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are actually expected to insert uh, uh, data of sex by one, two, then, then one and two, then some of students, some of, mm, maybe we expect the data must be actually inserted either one or two, but if you, for instance, insert AT, and this is incorrect formatting, yes, out of 
drink for money. That was the case, yes? Some of you are also drawing graph, what? Hmm? And then the, the fourth step is just uh, uh, the task, that task is related to the data processing is just undertaking analysis. Once after performing and completing all this, and you also need to uh, undertake analysis. And then particularly, data analysis might need a very solid understanding about basic statistical theories. You have to know the 10 basic issues. For instance, how to use measure of simple measure of uh, central tendencies. How, when we use mean, media, mode, when to use measure of variations, standard deviations, maybe uh, variance, coefficient of variations, and then uh, kurtosis, and then uh, what are the specific purpose? And you, yeah, you have to actually know certain basic issues of statistical theories in order to undertake analysis. That was the case, yes? Therefore, the data analysis will not be actually carried out uh, from blue. You have to actually have certain basic theories, particularly which type of statistical uh, techniques might be used for undertaking uh, maybe simple correlation to test the relation between variables. How to actually uh, interpret the result of correlation result, simple correlation, simple, simple correlation result. How to actually use uh, different types of tables, the different types of tables, graphs and percentage, and then might be also be, there are different specific options that you will actually have uh, within these softwares and then each of the each of these uh, specific statistical uh, uh, simple descriptive statistical techniques needs a thin understanding about statistical theories. Above all, you also need to apply the thin advanced statistical or econometrical econometric techniques. You might also, uh, in some of the case, some of the research might be uh, carried out by undertaking advanced statistical techniques. In such case, you also need to know. The 10 basic issues, for instance, how to use the econometrics model. Because your research uh, objectives might actually require to use certain simple, uh, simple linear regression models. And in such case, you also need to know the basic theory, how to also just interpret, and then how to uh, also, what are the specific procedures that need to be carried out to use the multiple linear regression models need to also be just understood. That means data analysis in general is also needs certain required theories behind that specific methods. Uh, the basic part is actually the statistical theories need to also be just revised. And then I'm sure you're also uh, going to read the statistical, the basic statistical theories uh, for your quick memory and then try to also do that one. And then the other main issue is when does the researcher start processing data? When does the researcher start processing data? That was actually uh, when the researcher will start the previous uh, specific four steps. And we actually expect the researchers to carry out uh, data processing. It will actually be started immediately or after the field data collection is just complete. Once you, are, you have completed your uh, field data collections, and then it must be actually started the soonest. Or it is also quite advisable to, to start data processing that was data uh, defining variable, editing, uh, and then entry, and then undertaking analysis might also go uh, during those specific data collection process. And then uh, data processing management might also be need to contribute. Improving data qualities also need to be just assured. That was that was the case. And then in order, in order to uh, to have proper quality data, you also need to uh, know the measurement scale. And then particularly uh, our subsequent discussions will actually highlight uh, an issue of these measurement skills. And then these are almost related. It is a part of data processing in the management part. That was in data definitions. You have to provide, you have to provide a proper uh, measurement scale for each variables. And then that was actually the case. Therefore, uh, how do we actually provide specifically 
a measurement scale to our research. What is a measurement scale in general in research? Uh, how do we also use this uh, measurement scale in research? And in fact, what are the different measurement scales uh, of research? That was also the case, yes? And the, basically, the measurement scale is simply, you will assign specific properties, attributes. And so that these attributes might also represent, uh, the, might also represent specific uh, properties of the object that was actually, uh, that was actually uh, truly representing the specific properties of the numbers. That means the computer will understand everything by number. That was the case. And that means you have to actually give proper number in place of uh, rather than uh, uh, giving name, like for instance, sex it is either we know male or female. And then male might be one, let's say female, two, and then while you're actually inserting two, and then you have to also just, uh, the same understanding must be also just maintained on the part of computers, as if the number is name, sex, that was the case. Otherwise, the computer will simply recognize, as we know, two is greater than one, and then if one is assigned for male, two is assigned for female, and a female is greater than, it will, the computer will automatically understand as if numerical characteristics numbers to computer. That was the case. Therefore, there are specifically uh, that you must understand three different specific scales of measurement. Then the first one is what we call nominal scale. The second one is ordinary scale. The third one is scale. And within this scale, there are two specific types of uh, scale of measurement. Interval scale of measurement, ratio scale of measurement. And then without knowing the attributes and the properties of each measurement scale for each variables, it's not possible to define uh, on the computers. Therefore, you also need to uh, identify. And then I will actually uh, uh, briefly explain uh, what are nominal scale, let's say, nominal ordinary scale, and then the set which is scale either it might be interval or ratio scale. One thing in terms of property, a scale, it will actually uh, undertake numerical analysis, whereas nominal and ordinal will not actually undertake numerical analysis. You will simply, that was the, the case. Uh, and then I will actually uh, highlight uh, these scales, uh, uh, measurement scales briefly. The nominal scale is actually the, the variables that is actually supposed to be uh, assigned by nominal scale need to possess, mat uh, will not possess mathematical meaning. It's not possible. If you assign nominal scale, then that is actually the case in which it's not possible to, uh, to use those data to undertake mathematical properties. For instance, based on my previous, uh, my previous, uh, uh, example, sex, sex might be nominal data. How? Sex might be one male, two female. That was actually the, the, the code. And then this is nominal data. This is because we don't need actually the mathematical meaning of two. Two is, we know, greater than one. And if you actually uh, assign this as if it is scale, the computer will simply undertake analysis, mathematical analysis. It will undertake uh, maybe addition, subtraction, division, and manipulation, uh, multiplication. So that was the computer will uh, uh, apply mathematical operations, the basic mathematical operations. Therefore, particularly those variables, particularly that will not have any specific mathematical operation, meaning in terms of category, these are almost categorical variables is need to be assigned by nominal data. And if you actually properly give nominal data, the computer will not process mathematical properties. That was, that was the case. And then uh, a good example of this type of nominal data, for instance, this kind of questions might be uh, assigned as if nominal to the computer. What is used gender? Male or female? What is your religion? 
And then the first one is Muslim, Orthodox, Protestants, Catholic, and other. These are categorical. Yes? We don't need a specific numbers. Rather, we are actually quite interested to calculate how much total number of individuals are uh, Muslim, how much total number of uh, total number of respondents are of Orthodox Protestant. We are actually quite uh, requiring the total number of uh, number of respondents. Uh, we don't need actually to calculate. Uh, uh, maybe for instance, this is one, one, two, three, four, and then if the mathematical meaning is just applied, now four is assigned for Catholic, and then. Uh, five is for others, and others are, might be greater than others. Others might be greater than maybe Catholic, Protestant, or uh, this kind of mathematical will, uh, wrong mathematical meaning will not be processed if you assign for such categorical variables as if it is nominal scale measurement. Nominal scale measurement, it is simply explaining the attributes of variables and then for which it will not possess mathematical properties. And the second uh, type of uh, measurement scale is ordinal scale of measurement. The, or, the ordinal scale of measurement are, uh, this one is also the case, but it is almost similar with the previous case, but the, 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 this ordinal scale of measurement is actually quite uh, similar with the previous nominal scale. It, it doesn't possess mathematical property. Both ordinal scale, as well as nominal scale will not possess mathematical properties. But ordinary scale, somewhat, the categories have their own specific meaning. There is actually ordering. And then uh, look, for instance, an example of this one. How is your satisfaction with customer service of the staff? And in fact, we actually refer this one rated, rated uh, Square uh, rated uh, or maybe scale response question is the kind of this one scale response questions, and then excellent, but good, but very bad. Now, if you actually opt excellent, and then you will give a credit from four four. That means if you select excellent, and then one thing the customer the, the individual is quite satisfied with service the, that is. The, the the out of four, we just give four, and then good out of four three, bad out of four two, very bad out of four one. That was that was the case. The, the four, this measurement scale is actually uh, if you have a kind of this kind of ordinal response you will simply assign ordinary scale. But the similarity between ordinary scale and the nominal scale, both of them, they will not possess mathematical properties. The, both of them will also be just applied for categorical variable, but the nominal, uh, as, as, uh, as opposed to the nominal, the ordinal will actually involve certain ordering. Usually, we apply this ordinary scale measurement for Likert scale equation, which is almost quite, mostly, raised in this uh, MBA program. The interval scale, the interval scale uh, measurement is also, uh, uh, then, uh, the third types of scale is, uh, measurement scale is, uh, scale. The scale could be either interval or it, it might also be ratio. You'll find this uh, scale or uh, interval or ratio you, together as if it is uh, the, same, uh, the same scale on the spaces. Interval scale is a measurement. Primarily, it will apply mathematical properties, but the interval scale will not possess true, uh, true zero point of mathematics. That means, as we know in mathematics, if we less, if you assign zero, and then it means the value will not have, uh, will not, it will, it, it will not have uh, any. Uh, it, it it means null. 
in mathematics, yes? For instance, uh, you might simply uh, measure or a certain specific weight, and then if you have zero, zero weight, that means it is null. But uh, like for instance, um, certain, certain specific um, measurement, they will not also apply this zero as true zero point. For instance, let's say how much is now the time. Then time is just simply six, let's say. Six, zero, zero. And then zero, zero means, it doesn't mean the true, uh, the true zero point in the, in the now, it doesn't actually uh, uh, mean it is null. yes? That means time moves along continuous measurement. And then each minute, seconds have its own meaning, and zero within this zero second, zero minutes will also have its own meaning, yes? And it will not have uh, uh, implying proper uh, mathematical uh, null meaning. Let's say, for instance, uh, temperature zero degree, the temperature is zero degree Fahrenheit in terms of scale. Does it mean uh, necessarily there is no uh, temperature because of zero uh, degree Fahrenheit? And the zero does not particularly imply the true uh, mathematical meaning. That means this interval scale of measurement might be applied mathematical operation plus this interval scale of measurement will not possess proper zero mathematical meaning. For such, for such variables, for instance, if you have variable temperatures, you need to assign interval. If you have a variable of temperature on your data, you also need to assign interval. The last measurement scale is ratio scale. The ratio scale of measurement is interval scale of measurement, but uh, this interval scale of measurement is also, uh, will also involve the true absolute zero point. That means the mathematical operation of zero, uh, zero will, will undertake the proper mathematical need. Let's say zero weight zero height, zero distance. That means the zero will have proper null mathematical meaning. In such case, we might undertake uh, uh, opt ratio scale. For this ratio scale, it's possible to undertake mathematical operations. For instance, uh, how much is average age of individual? How much is average weight of individual? How much the average, how much is the minimum? How much is the maximum? How much is the variation? A kind of this specific mathematical uh, uh, analysis might be made. Mathematical operations are possible for both ratio as well as interval. Because of this, you'll find on recent softwares, both of them are scale. Therefore, the distinction between the, the, score, the code is quite easy. Variables, if it is categorical, automatically, it is either nominal or it is ordinal. If it is not categorical, if it is in number, it is scale because be it, be it ratio, be it interval, it will involve mathematical operations. That was actually the case. And then you also need to, uh, it would be quite uh, good if we, uh, if, if we also uh, uh, use uh, the surface, but the problem is uh, the, the course, uh, syllabus not just included these softwares uh, and it's quite also unmanageable to just also include and then to show uh, these uh, softwares by taking some data that was quite difficult yes that was the case therefore you also need to properly uh, define the measurement scale and so far the discussion is on data processing management and then uh, let me also just uh, give you a chance um, and then after having some specific discussions on it, I will proceed to the second part of data, data problems in the world. Then uh, you may actually raise points which is not clear. Yes? You may raise hands.
do you have any point on our previous discussion if so let me give you some chance otherwise i'll proceed to the remaining part Dakri. Zakir. Yes, Doctor Arkner. Okay, you can proceed. You can proceed. Is there anyone who want to actually raise questions on our discussions, on our previous discussion? Yeah? If so, please make it unmute and then raise, uh, raise your point. Yes, doctor, can I say something? Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe there is a, a connection problem and you know, your voice is coming, you know, intermittently. So uh, can you please uh, some ideas, you know, or in Amharic, otherwise I cannot understand what you are saying because you know, it was intermittent. Some are coming and you know, it's intermittent again, you come. So when you come and again, I know after some point, you know, I missed. So maybe, you know, I don't understand what you are saying. So maybe if you can, you know, elaborating in Amharic or something, if I get a chance, you know, to understand this because it's a bit difficult for me, especially mathematical and something. So I want to understand this thing. Look, which one is not clear to you? Yeah, uh, away, you know, you come in still, you know, there is intermittent sometimes voice is coming sometimes is you know off and it's coming so it's a bit difficult for me to understand is that only to you or uh, for others let me also know that one please ask the others yeah sir yeah. can you actually uh, yeah hello doctor can you hear me yeah oh, this is Gurma Mukas. yeah from my side, it's very clear. Okay, how about others? The problem is, see, individual uh, uh, internet uh, access might also be just quite uh, matter, but uh, let me also know uh, maybe from others as well. Hello, hello, doctor. Can I come in? Yeah. Hello, Mohammed. Yes, Mohammed. Mohammed. Okay, thank yeah, you. Okay. Mm. Uh, I think the, the, this data processing uh, techniques are uh, like somehow uh, not clear. So uh, I also agree if it is repeated in a language like Amharic, that so that we can understand it very well. About the internet. So like, the internet is good, no problem with me. Okay. You see, the problem is uh, this uh, is supposed to be actually given uh, along with the software. And then if so, it might be quite uh, clear. The assumption of the course is as if you have already uh, have an understanding about data processing and management or understanding about an exposure to either of these uh, softwares, like SPSS or Stata. The problem is the student, they don't have actually maybe limited understanding. I also just guess some of the students, they also have ample experience of working uh, on these uh, maybe softwares. I'm sure uh, for those individuals uh, who have already just an exposure, 
it might be quite clear. But the problem is the, the core syllabus will actually start as if starting from uh, individuals who have already understanding about this software's background. That was, a, the, that was the case. And then it might be quite easy to also show using these softwares, but the problem is it is quite difficult to uh, include those softwares illustrations on this to create our course. And then uh, I also just started at the beginning class just to uh, uh, supplement the gap. And then the, usually they actually need to uh, uh, maybe complement complement uh, the these specific uh, limitations through uh, providing the computer uh, maybe uh, short term training in different time that was that was my suggestions in due time you might also ask your school to have separate uh, maybe short term training on uh, these softwares otherwise uh, that was a problem you see otherwise uh, uh, it is quite uh, need to be clear. Then I will also just uh, a bit s s slower, maybe subsequently, to just to explain uh, the issues. And you see, this one is quite very important part. And the undertaking analysis is on most, for some of students, it will take about uh, maybe a year. And then this is the, the main reason for why the students are not properly completing their. Um, tests on time because after just completing the coursework they they actually get in trouble while undertaking analysis because of limitations of certain skills and then i also just expect uh, this uh, and the problem is the issue that is we are just discussing is somewhat practical it needs actual maybe uh, data and then it might be quite easy if you actually take certain Questions and then define right away and then giving some illustrations and then a kind of those uh, discussions is also expected from the course. But the problem is that was not uh, not actually given a credit uh, for the course. I don't know what uh, why the reason might be the case. That was the case. And then maybe uh, before proceeding, let me give chance for them. So Shetu. በተመረጥ ከፍ ብሎ መብረር ይቻላል ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይ ስህት ኩባንያ ከከፍተኛ ትምህርት አግባብነትና ጥራት ኤጀንሲ ሙሉ ቅናን ባገኘንባቸው በማስተርስ ዲግሪ MBA በስትራቴጂክ ማኔጅመንት MBA በባንኪንግ እና ፋይናንስ MBA በቢዝነስ ሊደርሺፕ MBA በሪስክና ኢንሹራንስ MSc በኢንተርናሽናል ትሬድ እና ኢኮኖሚክስ ዘርፎች በእውቀት ለመቅረጽ ይበቁ ፕሮፌሰሮቻችን አረንጓዴ መብራታቸውን አብርተዋል በነገራችን ላይ በኬንያ ሀገር ከሚገኙ ስመጥር ዩኒቨርሲቲዎች በሚመጡ ፕሮፌሰሮች የትኩረት መስክ ትምርቶቹ መሰጣታቸው ለዩ ያደርገናል በመርጥ የትምርት ስርዓት የተገነባው ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ በመጀመሪያ ዲግሪ በአቪዬሽን ማኔጅመንት በሆቴል ማኔጅመንት በአካውንቲንግ እና ፋይናንስ በማርኬቲንግ ማኔጅመንት አስተማማኝ ትምርት ይገብዩና ራስዎንና ሀገሩን ይለውጡ አድራሻ 22 አደባባይ ወደ ሾላ በሚወስደው መንገድ ላይ ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይ ስህት ኩባንያ ህልመውን አሁን ያደርጋል ኦኬ እዚ ቻፕተር አይ ቲንክ ዌር ትራይ ቱ ዲስከስ አባውት ዳታ አናሊሲስ አይ ቲንክ Yes. Yes, doctor. Yeah. Okay. In data, in data oh. analysis. Okay. In data analysis, can you use only software yeah. or by other means uh, we, we can interpret the data? For example, we can repeat opening the questions, questionnaires to our respondents. Then we connect that questionnaires from that from the respondents and we interpret using percentage. I think yeah we expect so, mm, we expect all the questions need to be actually processed by the software that was that was the case yes yeah we have we expect particularly be it open be it closed in the questions we expect to undertake analysis using software only using software yeah that was the case it might be the, 
maybe the easiest software which is recommended for posting primary questionnaire is spaces and we expect to undertake analysis using these softwares. Uh -huh. That was the point, the demo. Let me actually proceed to the remaining part. Those of you who didn't just uh, maybe mute your, uh, please mute your, um, uh, please, please mute your. Uh, Hello, doctor. Yeah. Yes. Can I repeat my summary? Okay. For yeah, you, you can do that. On yeah, title chain when research chain is assessment assess uh, okay assessment to be on now. You mean the kind of on opening it rather than yeah, it's another regular Bahala percentage that I can data chain interface Mara Ganchilum way instead of using software smarty. The software must try to the shale advantage allo. Bekalalu process marak yaschilan srao mit shale trusra yhona. Yes, mukniyatum matayik o matayik buzuno. Meto kameto pala yal matayik lam malles. Uh, specifically, Betali old methods matakam aita bagam. Manna bajja maim ramu advanced statistical techniques thulo chilla matakam as chilam. So lazi we expect all student to use uh, these softwares. The problem is it must also be just supplied uh, along with uh, maybe this training, and if so, it will supplement much. That was the point, yes? Let me actually uh, proceed to the remaining part, and then I will also give you uh, the, second, the second chance. The second part is immediately after, uh, uh, while actually undertaking data processing in the management, the third problem uh, issues might also be rising. And then this might also be just uh, discussed in this part. The first part is what are the, the most commonly uh, data problems that you will face in research. And then what is the way out? That was the case. Primarily, once if you, if you also have uh, an, uh, maybe an exposure to the softwares, there are specific mechanisms by which you will detect the common data problems. You see, if data problems will not be actually corrected, and then it is not possible to undertake proper analysis. What to do particularly, for instance, missing data? Missing data might be if you actually not properly collect data, that is a key thing. Yes? Or what, what will happen for instance, if you have missing variables? So 10 specific questions might be also just answered. And then if what will happen for instance, if you miss certain uh, variables? And then there are also common data problems might be distribution outlier. And then uh, there are suggested statistical way out for this. I will actually discuss those issues in this part. And then that was actually the case in which still the assumption is you are you have already attempted to use these softwares, or you are almost in the process of data entry and management. That was the assumption. One step is already just jumped. That was the case. Data can, could be analyzed using different variety uh, ways, and then it should also be just properly inserted using different softwares even including Excel. Typically, the Excel sheet is almost similar or uh, maybe quite uh, identically similar with the data entry formats of spaces, data entry format of Stata. Almost it seems Excel. And then you will insert data on those uh, data entry uh, uh, windows. And then while actually setting data, you will actually face certain 
specific problematic data issues. And these problematic data issues need to also be uh, detected. The first one is how to actually detect these data problems. That was the case. The first way, just to look at the, particularly the, the, the whole windows, yes, and the checking out maybe the data um, and jump it, and all those might be the case, or uh, the checking the, the, the windows and then observing uh, maybe uh, wrongly inputted uh, data. You must simply uh, uh, maybe uh, identify by simply uh, detecting. This is quite difficult, but the softwares, particularly the CPC softwares, have their own specific techniques for uh, detecting data problems. And then there are specific uh, windows that for which it will actually uh, identify the common data problems. And you will also identify the common data problems. And then the, from all these common data problems, particularly uh, these are the three different common data problems that you will actually apparently uh, face by researchers while undertaking analysis in the spaces are the three. The first one is missing data. Second one is distribution outlier. Said one is data inconsistency. These are the three main data problems. For instance, the in the questionnaire, you also need to check the response of respondent. For instance, if the daughter age is greater than mother age, and then this is quite inconsistency, yes, and then this is uh, data inconsistency. That means simply, this should not be the case if you have. And equations of mother age, and then subsequently, if you also have an equations of daughter age, by no means daughter age should, should greater than mother's age. And this is uh, wrong information. Therefore, such kind of data uh, inconsistency need to be trimmed out while data, uh, data while you are just undertaking data entry. You have to actually understand properly the data before properly uh, inserted into computers. For instance, if the employee salary is less than the minimum wage, that was the case, negative value for certain aspect result. For instance, negative uh, value for age or negative value for uh, income. And then these are almost out of, uh, out of expectation that was quite difficult. In fact, detecting this uh, data inconsistencies needs clear understanding, critical understanding about the questions, detailed understanding about the questions on the part of researchers. Data processing and analysis might also involve data cleaning, coding, data entry, data analysis that was already just uh, um, addressed the beginning, but the missing data is quite straightforward, particularly detecting miss missing data and, and this software is quite easy. Even the computer will also give you uh, maybe then then uh, maybe that data. Right away, you might simply uh, select, scroll those which is not uh, maybe inserted data. That is easy. But the problem is the computer will not identify data inconsistencies. An example that was already just made. That was it needs logical thinking that is expected to be made by the researchers. I said uh, this missing data. Uh, will not have any solutions on the part of um, the researchers. Uh, missing data, if the researchers miss the whole data, the possible solution is just, you need to actually uh, collect those data again. That was uh, what we expect. But in some of the case, uh, particularly when the researchers face uh, maybe um, difficulties for specific missing of specific uh, variables, they might also be just certain statistical solutions. Simply, you might need to, uh, you might need to uh, maybe s uh, insert by certain average variables, or you might need to uh, insert by mode or media. That is the point. Dealing with distribution outlier, it is also the case. Uh, distribution outlier is very extreme large or very extreme uh, low observations and then the actual expected observations because of different reasons. For instance, while setting H in place of AT, we just simply 
clicked and then added one zero, which is 80. And then we actually supposed to insert a data of 80 H, but we just actually inserted 80, uh, 800 by simply adding one zero. And then in such case, and then the age of individual should not be exceeding 100. And then if it is 800, it is outlier. Very extreme, large observations. Or while inserting H, let's say for instance, five. And then five and one. And in place of five, one, if we didn't just insert properly one, and then the age might be five. And then imagine the age of individual of or the age of household will not be also five. And then this distribution outline is very ungenuine, very low or very high uh, observations on the data. Unexpected uh, data observations might be the case. And then these, uh, this, uh, these problems particularly will be checked using the software. So that was uh, the way out. Easily, and it's been if we are actually using the software, it is quite easy to check and then trace out those specific uh, uh, problems. The last uh, point of this uh, chapter is the discussions on techniques of data analysis. And then basically, after actually undertaking and then completing all the required steps on data processing management on this software, and the next step is just undertaking analysis. And then what are the techniques, particularly, which is quite available for uh, undertaking analysis for research. And then I will also just briefly explain certain different different types of analysis. And then for your simple quick memory, and then in fact, this chapter is also assumes as if you have told it uh, maybe uh, previous understanding about basic statistical uh, knowledge. And if not, try to also read try to also read uh, certain basic statistical theories in this part. But I will mention uh, those statistical techniques for undertaking analysis. The first one is descriptive statistical techniques. And then the descriptive statistical techniques might be graph. You might undertake different types of plots to actually show pattern, graph, I mean, pattern, chart, uh, pattern might be observed by observing this, by using this line, line chart might be the case. You might also uh, quite interested to explain uh, maybe the value. It might also be depicted by histogram, bar chart, pie chart. There are different types of graphs. By the way, while describing your data, uh, describing using figure might actually, uh, will not actually need much elaborations. If it's undertake, if if you actually describe by uh, table, then it needs much discussions. But the graph and figures will not actually uh, need much discussion because of this. The first discrete statistics, in fact, it's quite uh, simple, but it is quite important. And then mostly, these graph figures might be applied for categorical. Uh, observations, probably for uh, explaining frequency and percentage. Measure of dispersion, and before that, measure of uh, central tendency, SASIX. The measure of central SASIX tendencies, measure of, measure of central tendency is SASIX that will actually explain to what extent the total observation is just falling to central main observation. And this, to this end, this uh, common widely used central statistical uh, central tendency statistics metrics are mean that is average mode media measure of variations to what extent this, the overall observation is just vary from uh, vary from central observation is also the case measure of dispersion disparity privately coefficient of variation standard deviation range and undertaking minimum maximum might be actually the fix. And above all, you might also need to apply the inflation statistical techniques. The inflation statistical techniques are techniques that will actually 
employ the 10 tests. And then T test might be actually requiring F test, F test, chi square test. And undertaking might be correlation, regression analysis might be the case. Except simply mentioning and how to use and then directing how to use each will not actually discuss uh, much. The only, uh, the only uh, suggestion I have particularly uh, to explore, uh, I suggest all of you just to explore uh, detail about these techniques. Like for instance, how to, under, how to use this chi-square test. Chi-square test might be actually used particularly to compare, to compare uh, the association between two or more categories at a time. Actually, to statistically test whether the correlation between or um, the relationship between two specific categories. For instance, one category might be age, no, um, it might be education, the other is sex. And then will it be actually have any systematic relation between sex versus education, uh, educations? And then if so, if education is measured in category and the sex is also measured in category, and then you, you will undertake chi square test. T test might also be applied, particularly for measuring, checking uh, the maybe statistical significant difference of mean between two categories. Like, like let's say, for instance, income. And then, is there any statistical difference between male to female? This might be answered using T test. And then, if it is more than uh, maybe two categories at a time for continuous variables, F test might be applied. And then these are most, uh, the techniques particularly need to be uh, uh, elaborated and then would be also quite good if I just take certain data and then elaborate. The problem is the course will not actually, uh, uh, will not uh, have uh, such specific details. And then in fact, it needs to add, to undertake, uh, to include those softwares and then uh, dealing to deal those issues it must also be just, the course must also be, uh, uh, by, uh, should also be offered by secret hour. Second one is, uh, second fresh statistical method is the use of correlation analysis and regression analysis. For your quick memory, the distinction between correlation versus regression analysis, both of them, they are actually measuring the relation between variables. The relation between variable X with Y. Let's say for instance, is there a relation between uh, maybe blood pressure of individuals versus age of individuals. That means we expect as the age of individuals is rising, we expect they might be having blood pressure. That means there is a positive correlation. That means the correlation simply shows the extent and degree of association between variables. In this case, to what extent age is correlated with blood pressure. But regression, apart from showing the relationship, it will also show the cause and effect relationships. In this case, uh, of using the same example, blood pressures might be occurring because of age. That means as we keep on, as the age of individuals rising, we expect there is high tendency of having blood pressure. The cause is now age, the effect is, blood pressure and then to what extent how much increment in age might lead to influence uh, bp will also be just explained in detail by using parameters regression analysis this regression analysis will also have distinction between variables dependent effect variables and dependent cause variables and this regression will also have different specific categories like simple linear regression model multiple linear regression models and then the covariates might be the case do you think the blood pressure of individuals might be occurred because of age? Not, because of different reason, because of let's say weight or because of other factors might also influence the case. Therefore, it's also possible to include other uh, covariates just, just influencing the Y variables might also be implied by regression analysis. The most common widely used uh, techniques of correlation analysis just for depicting the relation between variables are uh, for which you will, uh, you, will, you will find 
and this of the result is Pearson rank correlation coefficient, Pearson uh, correlation coefficient. Pearson rank correlation coefficient and Pearson correlation coefficient. In fact, both of them are uh, a method for measuring the correlation between variables, but but uh, the Spearsman and Spearsman and Pearsman uh, correlation coefficient might be used for categorical Spearsman, no, no for uh, categorical, yes, Spearsman, and then uh, Pearson might also be applied for continuous variables. That was the case. The choice might also be just depending on the type of measurement as well. That was a, the, that was a point uh, I also just expect uh this uh, chapter is quite a bit uh, uh maybe strong to understand and it would also require you to explore more for uh, maybe understanding depths uh, about all issues and then i also just encourage you to also uh, maybe to take some certain short-term training on these softwares and so that these chapters might be easy and you will apply to you uh, to you um, this as well. And the last is uh, mental gymnastics that was actually meant to uh, initiate you to read your textbook. And that was the case. And then let me give you uh, again chance uh, to elaborate at the point. You may actually make your point. Thank you. If you want to actually raise questions, you may uh, uh, meet. On the discussion that we had today, if it is not clear to you, you may raise a, a question and then uh, we'll make the discussions. Is that clear? Hello. This one is, yeah. Uh, I have a question. Yeah, okay. Who is that? What is the main difference between the analysis and a process? Data processing and data analysis. What's the difference? Data analysis that? and data processing. You see? Yeah. Uh, data, data, data processing and analysis. Data, yeah. That was data processing and management. Immediately after completing your field work, you need to back to you, uh, uh, you will actually have collected primary data. Yes? Those mm -hmm. primary data need to be inserted on the computer. And then for which first you have to define the variable. And then again, you have to assure the proper definitions of code must also be in, inserted on the, uh, maybe properly on the computer, data entry. Data processing will include data definition, data uh, editing, data entry, and then analysis. Where, where and that is the processes are almost will not be actually carried out in one day. Yes, you have to actually involve about four specific steps, and then after that, you will undertake your analysis. Analysis might be actually undertaking simple descriptive statistics, it might be figure, uh, it might be inflation statistical techniques, or undertaking maybe uh, analysis using correlation, undertaking analysis using uh, regressions. That is, that, is, that is the case, yes? You see, therefore analysis is just the end, but process is just, it will start from data definitions up to data entry. That was the case. Analysis is uh, more mathematical use, like correlation. And analysis is just simply uh, reporting the result mathematically, yes? You, ask, you actually need to apply in analysis like regression. You will also apply regression, correlation, correlation like that. And then uh, methods, yeah. But the previous one is a process, yes? The process, the data collection, process. data. Presentation yeah. like this. Thank you. Now, oh, a part specifically, the uh, field on the and research proposed by the regulatory research lay data service about the Msali and the Takomle, yeah, Meto Matayik service. 
100 መጠይቅ አስሞላል ከዛ 100 መጠይቅ አስሞልተን ከተመለሰን በኋላ ዳይሬክትሊ እሱን ወደ አናሊሲስ ወደ ስታቲስቲካል ፊገር መቀየር አንችልም ወደ ፊገር ወደ ስታቲስቲካል ፊገር ሲምፕል ዲስክሪት ስታቲስቲክስ ወይ ኢንፍሌሽን ስታቲስቲካል ቴክኒክስ ወይ ኮሮሌሽን ሪግሬሽን ሰርተን ሪፖርትን ጄኔሬት ማድረግ አንችልም ከዛ በፊት ለቆኑን ይፈልጋል እያንዳንዱ የመጀመሪያውን አንዱ አመጣይ ለኮምፒውተሩ ማስተዋቅ ይፈልጋል we you have to actually define የመጀመሪያው ቫሪያብል ምንድነው ምክንያቱም የኮምፒውተር ላንጉጅ ቁጥር ነው ይያል እያንዳንዱ ቁጥር ነው እሱ የሚረዳው ስለዚህ ፕሮፐርሊ የመጠይቁን በቁጥር በዚህ ለኤስፒሲ ሶፍትዌርስ ዲፋይን ማድረግ ነው የመጀመሪያው ስቴፕ ዲፋይን ማድረግ ብዙ ነገር ያካተተ በትክክል ሌብል ማድረግ ሜጀርመንት ስኬሉን properly assign ማድረግ then ኮዱን በትክክል መስጠት ይሄን ከጨረሰን በኋላ ሚሊትሊ ደግሞ አሁን ስፔሲፊካሊ የመጀመሪያው መጠይቅ ወደ ኮምፒውተሩ ማስገባት ይፈልጋል የመጀመሪያው የመጀመሪያው መልስ ሁለተኛው መልስ ሶስተኛው መልስ የመቶሃያው መልስ እንደዛው ወደ ኮምፒውተሩ ይገባል ከገባን በኋላ ደግሞ ስፔሲፊካሊ ኮመን ፕሮብሌሞች ያጋጥማሉ በሚያለው ቀደም አንስተናል ተላይ ፕሮብሌሞች አሉ እነዛ ዴታ ፕሮብሌሞችን ሚኒማይዝ ምክንያቱም እነዛ አይነት ለምሳሌ አውት ሚሲንግ ኦብዘርቬሽን ያለው ወይም ደግሞ አውት ኦፍ ሬንጅ ማለት ይኖራና ቢገባ በአናሊሲስ ሪፖርት ላይ ከፍተኛ አስተዋጽኦ ኔጌቲቭ ኢፌክት ያመጣል ስለዚህ ዳም ማስት ቢ አክቹሊ ኤዲትድ ያ ካለቀ ሪፖርትስ ካለቀ በኋላ ነው አናሊሲስ ሪዛልት የሚወጣው ይሄ አናሊሲስ ለመስራት ስታቲስቲካል ቤዚክ ስታቲስቲካል ቲዮሪ ያስፈልጋል ብለና ያስፈልጋል ስፔሲፊካሊ እነዚህ ቀደም ብለን የተማርናቸው ናቸው አሁን ኤግዞስቲቭሊ ሜንሊ ያልልኩባቸው አናሊሲስ ቴክኒኮች የሉ ግን በምን መልኩ እንዴት ልጠቀም የሚባለው ጉዳይ ነው ስለዚህ ብሪፍሊ ኪን ሳፋርጎ ማየት ይጠብቃል እንዳልኩት ኮርሱንም ሲጀምር ይሄ ከሶፍትዌሩ ጋር ብሮ ታይዞ አሁን ይሄንን አንብባችሁት ሰብስኩዌንትሊ ደሞ ሶፍትዌር ላይ አብሮ እንሰራ የተሻለ ይሆን ነበር ያን ማረክ አልቻለም ግን በሾርት ተርም ትሬኒንግ አይ ቲንክ እንደሚሰጥ ተረጋግረናል ከስኩል ጋር ዳት ኢዝ አ ፖይንት ቴንክ ዩ አንዳር ፖይንት አንዳር ፖይንት እንጂ ግልጽን 100% እዚሁ እንዲዲስከስ እንደማረግላችሁ ግልጽም ላይሆን የሚችልበት ሁኔታዎች ይኖራሉ አይም ሹር ደሞ በዚህ ላይ የሰራችሁ ልጆች ቀደም ሆይ ነበርአችሁ እንት ያላችሁ ልጆች ኢት ኢዝ ኳይት ክሊክ ቱ ዩ ኦሬዲ ያል ቦርስኩ ስላለፋችሁ ቴንክ ዩ ቸር ነው ኪ ደጀማሪ ሊላ ኤኒ አዘር ፖይንት ደጀማሪ ያቂ ካለ ስለዚህ ይሄንን በደንብ እነዚህ ሪግሬሽን እና ኮሬሌሽን ይያልናል ናቸው ማቲማቲካል ዘዴዎች አሉ። አዎ ምን ተቀባባቸው ስታቲስቲካል ሜተድ ብለን ያልናቸው ወደ ግራፍ ወደ ምን እናመጣቸውና ሁሉንም ግዴ ባንድ ሪሰርች üst ሁሉም ነው ምን ተቀመው ወይስ በየሪሰርቹ የሚለያየ ሳይንቲፊክ ሪሰርች እንደ ሪሰርች ኦብጀክቲቭ ይለያል የሪሰርች ኦብጀክቲቭ የሪሰርች የምትሰራው የሪሰርች ኦብጀክቲቭ ነው የሚወስነው ቴክ ቱልስ ኦፍ አናሊሲስ ኢን ሰም ኦፍ ዘ ኪስ ኦንሊ ዩ ማይት አፕላይ ሲምፕል ዲስክሪት ስታቲክስ ዩ ማይት ኖት ኒድ ቱ ኢንቮልቭ አድቫንስድ ስታቲካል ቴክኒክስ ኤፍ ኤፍ ቴስት ቴስት ካሎኩሌሽን ሪግሬሽን ሳይስ ፈልግ ሊመለስ የሚችል አይነት ሪሰርች ዲኖር ይችላል የሪሰርች ኦብጀክቲቭ ይወስናል ማለት ነው ደሞ ሪሰርች ኦብጀክቲቭ ደሞ ስፔሲፊካሊ ዳይሬክትሊ ሪግሬሽን ደሞ ይፈልግ ደሞ ይኖራል በዛ ጊዜ you have to actually identify understand now regression analysis correlation lemon yagalagalal inji specifically devsli alaye no means aw aw alaye no ndekeno su su bedemb devsli berasu rasun yichale course selohonal neger gin ko ya sasik lay yetosena neger selaye no aytachutal ያ ስታቲስቲክስ ላይ መጀመሪያ ዲግሪ ላይ ስታቲስቲክስ ላለ አዎ እዛ ላይ ጎና በትክክል ግልጽ ይሆናል እንደዛ አይነት አንደርስታንዲንግ ጋርችሁ ኦሬዲ ኤክስፕሎር እንድታደርጉን ይፈልጋል 
እና ግን በተለያየ ሪሰርች የተለያየ ቤተዶች መጠቀም ግዴታ ይለያያል ማለት ነው ይለያያል it is just in line with your, your research objectives no እነዚህ ቤተዶች accordingly ልትጠቀሟቸው ልትጠቀሟቸው yes that is the case እንጂ it's not mandatory to use all ነገር ግን በሚደንቁ ሁኔታ ከነዚህ አንዱን ወይ ሁለት ሶስቱን ተጠቅማችሁ አናሊሲስ ተሰራላችሁ እንጂ ይሄን ሳይጠቅም ደግሞ አናሊሲስ መስራት አይቻለም ይሄን ይሄን ሳይጠቅም ደግሞ እተኛው እንደማሪ አይመረቅ እንደማያጠ ቴንክ ዩ ያው ስኖ ሰቲን ስፔሲፊክ አንዱን እተኛው እንደሆነ አይታወቅም እንጂ አንዱ ለቱን መጠቅም ይቻላል አክቹአሊ ኔክስት ቻፕተር አው ዊል አክቹአሊ ጊቭ ዩ ሳም አዲሽናል ታስክ for which you also observe how uh, students are using these techniques for their analysis yes? how yes. students are yes. just using these techniques for answering their research in milon nalo report writing part so far the discussion almost three separate okay. three consecutive chapter is spent on research methodology part if methodology is clear and then the remaining will not be actually quite difficult I also give uh, maybe uh, any additional chance if you have You want to raise point question no one it's clear yes, yes. okay yes. if so see you uh, i will share you this uh, material so grandma uh, grandma mabus and then uh, see you next class bye bye teacher bye doctor okay. ለዩነት መፍጠር አላማችን ነው አለም አቀፍ ተወዳዳሪ መሆን አለባችሁ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እህት ኩባንያ ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ ጥራትና ደረጃውን የተጠበቀ ስልጠና በመስጠት ብቁ ዜጋ ያፈራ ነው በፍላይት ኦፕሬሽን በበረራ መስተንግዶ በቲኬቲንግና ሪዘርቬሽን በሆቴልና ቱሪዝም ሙያዎች አስልጠናን ተወዳዳሪና አድርጎታለን ኮሌጃችን ካናዳ ከሚገኘው ኢንተርናሽናል ኤር ትራንስፖርት አሶሲዬሽን አያታና ከእንግሊዙ አይሲኤም ጋር በመተባበር አለም አቀፍ ቁና ያለው ስልጠና እየሰጠ ይገኛል በፍላይት ኦፕሬሽን በበረራ መስተንግዶ የምንሰጣቸው ስልጣና ከኢትዮጵያ ሲቪል አቪዬሽን ባለስልጣን ሙሉ ቅና አለ አድራሻ ከጎላጉል ታወር 22 አደባባይ ወደ ሾላ በሚወስደው መንገድ ላይ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እድ ኩባንያ ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ ህልሞን እሁን ያደረገ